Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to present the solution to example 5 on relative equilibrium of liquids. And this is a bit challenging problem. So problem 5, the vessel shown has constant width into the screen. Determine the following. The maximum horizontal acceleration without spilling any water. The horizontal acceleration when the water surface intersects corner C and the volume of water spilled in liters in part 5.2 if the width of the tank is 1.2 meters. So this is the figure. So let's analyze here. Let's fill in and label some important uh, dimensions so that we can analyze the situation. So we have 60 degrees. So this is an isosceles trapezoid, trapezoidal tank. So let's form a triangle here, these two. So therefore, the, the this length is 3.6 minus 3 is 0.6 divided by 2. So each is 0.3 meter. That's 0.3 meter. I'll call this width as x1. This is also x1. Then the height as h so because that's 60 degrees this is also 60 degrees. that's also h this is also h so that we can compute h from tangent 60 degrees equals h over 0.3 and this should be the surface so that no liquid will be spilled and the angle that the surface makes with horizontal we will call that theta one so since no liquid is spilled, instead of volume, we can use area instead of air because the width is constant. So initial area of air should also be final area of air, where in this final area of air, this is a triangle bounded by these yellow boundaries. It is one half product of adjacent sides, 3.6 and this distance here, uh, liter, times sine of the included angle 60 degrees. So tangent 60 degrees, tangent 60 degrees is h over 0.3, so h is 0.5196 meter. Then x sub 1, by similar triangles, x sub 1 as to 0.45 equals 0.3 as to h, which is 0.5196. So x sub 1 is 0.2598 meter. So next, this height therefore is h 0.5196 minus the depth of water 0.45. So that's 0 0.0696 meter, which is necessary for computing uh, theta 1 later. So I'll call this point E here, the, the intersection of this imaginary liquid surface, then the distance DE we will denote that by Z. So again, area initial of air, because no liquid is spilled, equals final area of air, where the initial area of air is one half of quantity 3.6 plus the width of the surface, which is 3 plus 2 times x1, so 3 plus 2 times x sub 1, x sub 1 is 0.2598, times the height of this trapezoid imagine, uh, trapezoidal section filled with air, 0 0.0696, equals final area of air, which is 1 half of 3.6 times z times sine of 60, so that we can solve for z. So 1 half 3.6 times z sine 60 degrees. Remember the area of a triangle is 1 half product of adjacent sides times sine of the included angle. So solving for z, z is equal to 0.1589 meters. So having found z, let's isolate this uh, triangle bounded by yellow boundaries so that we can analyze it well. Then let's drop this vertical line from corner E so that we can form this right triangle. So the height of this triangle, this one is 0.1589z. 
sine of 60 while the adjacent side is 3.6 minus this distance which is uh, this distance is 0 0.1589 which is this distance here 0 0.1589 cosine of 60 so tangent of theta 1 is 0 0.1589 sine 60 over 3.6 minus 0.1589 this distance here 0.1589 cosine of 60 that's it so tangent theta 1 is equal to 0 0.03909 that's the slope then we equate it to ax max without spilling any liquid over g because that's the formula tangent theta equals ax over g so ax max over 9.81 so ax max is equal to 0.3835 meters per second square so this is the maximum horizontal acceleration rightward so that no leak, no water will be spilled then the horizontal acceleration when the sur water surface intersects corner c so it should be greater than this value here and certain amount of water will be spilled so the surface will cross c and of course A because some of the liquid has been spilled. So this is the surface and the angle here is called theta 2. This is also theta 2. So we can compute tangent of theta 2. It is equal to H over 3.6 minus 0.3. It is obvious in the figure. So tangent of theta 2 equals h point ax over g, which is also equal to h, which is 0.5196 over this distance here is 3.6 minus 0.3. Or in other words, this is 3.3. So that we can compute ax equal to 1.545 meters per second square. And finally, for the volume spilled in liters, if the width of the tank is 1.2, and it should be the difference between the original volume of water in the tank and the final volume of water in the tank or the volume that is retained in the tank. The volume that is retained in the tank is the water inside the boundary ABC. This one. And this volume is equal to the area of this triangle ABC times width perpendicular to the board 1.2. So the area is one half product of the acid sides again AB times BC which is 3 sine of this angle which is 120 degrees. That's 120 degrees 180 minus 60. Now AB we can compute AB because Cosine of 60 is 0.3 over AB. So AB is 0.3 over cosine 60. 0.3 over cosine 60. So AB is equal to 0.6 meter. So again, volume spilled is equal to initial volume of, of, air, of water. Rather. Then it is equal to area of this trapezoid water section, which is one half of the upper base is 3 plus 2 times x1, the lower base is 3, and the height is 0.45. So that's the area of the trapezoid, then times the width 1.2. So 1 half of quantity 3 plus 2 times 0.2598, which is x1, plus lower base 3 times height of the trapezoid 0.45. So that's the area of the trapezoid, times width perpendicular to the board 1.2. Then minus volume retained, which is bounded by ABC. The area of ABC is 1 half AB.6, BC3, then sine of included angle 120 degrees. That's the area, then times 1.2. So 1 half of 0 0.6 times 3 sine of 120 degrees times 1.2. So computing volume of water spilled is 0.825 cubic meter or it is equal to 825 liters because it is to be expressed in liters times 1000 so 825 liters 
So that's it for this problem. I hope you were able to follow the solution. So it's highly mathematical in nature, but if you're equipped with mathematics, then this is just a simple application of relative equilibrium of liquids.